So, a, so one of the most important concepts uh, to AWS Lambda is cold starts because this is one of the negative trade-offs of using serverless functions. Uh, so, uh, you know, AWS has servers pre-configured, so they're just lying around and they're in a turned off state for your runtime environment. So when a Lambda is invoked, these servers uh, need to then be turned on. Your code needs to be copied over. And so during that time, there's going to be a delay when that function will initially run. And that's what we call a code, cold start. So over here, you can see I have a, a Lambda function. It gets triggered. And there is no um, a server for it to run on. And so um, what's going to happen is that server is going to have to start. And we're going to have to copy over that code. And there's going to be a period of delay. Now. If you were to invoke that function again, what's going to happen is, and it has to be recent, right? If if the same function, so the code's already there and the and the server's already running, then you're going to not have that delay. That cold start's not going to be there, and that's when your server's actually warm. All right. So, um, you know, serverless functions are cheap, but everything comes with a trade-off, and so serverless functions, uh, cold starts can cause delays in the user experience, and this is actually a problem. Um, directly for us on Exam Pro because we didn't use serverless architecture because we wanted everything to be extremely fast because um, you know, using other providers, we weren't happy with uh, the delay in experience. Now, there are ways around cold starts, uh, which is called pre-warming. So what you can do is you can invoke the um, a function so that it starts prematurely so that when someone actually uses it, it's always going to stay warm. Or you can uh, take a lambda and then uh, give it more responsibility so that more things are passing through it so it stays uh, warm, more constant. Uh, and, you know, that cold starts is becoming less of a less issue uh, going forward because cloud providers are trying to find solutions to reduce those times or to mitigate them, but they are still a problem. So just be very aware of this one caveat to um, serverless functions.